Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I welcome you all in F6 online support and assignments tutorial for round 2 week 4. I am Zubia Arzak from APS Chattamni. The grade is 8 and subject is biology. Recipes chapter number 4, cells and tissues. And now it's time to discuss the task 1. I will describe a general prokaryotic cell consists of flagellum, ribosome, chromosome that consists DNA, chromosomal DNA, plasmid, cell membrane, cell wall. Now I will describe the difference between a prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell. Eukaryotic cells have prominent nucleus bounded by nuclear envelope while prokaryotic cells do not have prominent nucleus. Their chromosome consists of DNA only and it floats in cytoplasm near the center which is known as nucleoid. Eukaryotic cells have membrane bounded organelles like mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum, while such membrane bounded organelles are not present in prokaryotic cells. The ribosomes of eukaryotic cells are larger in size as compared to the ribosomes of the prokaryotic cell. Eukaryotic cells are on average 10 times larger than prokaryotic cells. The cell wall of eukaryotic cell is made up of cellulose in plants or chitin in fungi. All prokaryotic cells have cell wall which is made up of peptidoglycan, a large polymer of amino acids and sugars. Now I will describe relationship between cell function and cell structure. The bodies of animals and plants are made of different cell types. Each type performs specific functions and all coordinated functions become the life processes of organisms. Cells of one type may differ from those of other types in the following respects. Size and shape. Red blood cells are round to accommodate globular hemoglobin. Nerve cells are long for the transmission of nerve impulses. Xylem cells are tube-like and have thick walls for the conduction of water and sport. Surface area to volume ratio. Root hairs have large surface area for the maximum absorption of water and salts. Presence or absence of organelles. Cells involved in making secretions have more complex endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus. Cells involved in photosynthesis have chloroplast. Nerve cells conduct nerve impulse and thus contribute in coordination in body. Muscle cells undergo contraction and share their role in movements in body. Red blood cells carry oxygen and white blood cells kill foreign agents and so contribute in the roles of blood in transportation and defense. Some skin cells act as a physical barriers against foreign materials and some as receptors for temperature, touch and pain. The cells of bone deposit calcium in their extracellular spaces to make the bone tough and thus contribute to the supporting role of bones. And now I will describe cell as an open system. A cell works as an open system which means it takes in substances needed for its metabolic activities through its, its cell membrane then it performs the metabolic processes as assigned to it. Products and byproducts are formed in metabolism. Cell either utilizes the products or transports them to other cells. The byproducts are either stored or are excreted out of cell. 
cells vary greatly in size so now i will describe cell size and surface area to volume ratio the smallest cells are bacteria called mycoplasmas with a diameter between 0.2 micrometer to 1.0 micrometer the bulkiest cells are bird eggs and the longer cells are some muscle cells and nerve cells most cells lie between these extremes cell size and shape are related to the function bird eggs are bulky because they contain a large amount of nutrient for the developing young long muscle cells are efficient in pulling different body parts together lengthy nerve cells can transmit messages between different parts of the body on the other hand small cell size also has many benefits for example human red blood cells are only 8 micrometer in diameter and therefore can move through our tiniest blood vessels that are capillaries this figure shows the relationship of cells which are small in size in relation to their volumes by cube shape this figure show one large cell and 27 small cells in both cases the total volume is same volume would be 30 micrometer into 30 micrometer into 30 micrometer which will be equal to 27000 micrometer cube in contrast to the total volume the total surface areas are very different because cubical shape has six sides its surface area is six times the area of one side the areas of cubes are as you will find the surface area of one large cube surface area of one small cube and surface area of small of 27 small cubes by using these values so surface area of one large cube would be 5400 micrometer square and total surface area of 27 small cubes would be 16200 micrometer square the need of nutrients and the rate of waste production are directly proportional to cell volume cell takes up nutrients and excretes wastes wastes through its surface cell membrane so a large volume cell demands large surface area but as the figure shows a large cell has a small much smaller surface area relative to its volume than smaller cells have hence we conclude that the membranes of small cells can serve their volumes more easily than the membrane of a large cell i will discuss about the passage of molecules in into and out of cells in my next video lesson thank you and have a nice